This past Lord's Day, the main message came from Galatians chapter 5, verse 6. Galatians chapter 5, verse 6, which read like this, For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision counts for anything, but only faith working through love. It is always a blessing, and I would encourage you to do it. Look up all the connections. Well, maybe not all of them, but some of them, or maybe even just one of the connections to any given text that you happen to be reading throughout the scriptures, or maybe not throughout the scriptures, maybe within the, the set of the writings of the author, in this case, the Apostle Paul, or maybe not even that. How about just within this letter? And it adds depth to the understanding of the passage that you are considering. Once again, if I read it, for in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision counts for anything, but only faith working through love. Now skip over just one chapter. Our main focus will be chapter 6. Chapter 6, verse 15. For neither circumcision counts for anything, nor uncircumcision. Exactly what we just said. You see, there's that link. Connect the dots. But a new creation. Instead of saying faith working through love, he says new creation. Immediately, you should see then that the new creation is connected to faith working through love. New creation results in faith working through love. What I've been saying so many times all throughout this ministry, the gospel is faith that produces salvation that contains works. Faith equals salvation that works. So this is what he's talking about. When we believe in Jesus, we are become a part of the new creation, as we've been thinking about in the book of Colossians. We are already a part of the new creation, and the way that we live inside this new creation is not just, oh, I'm in, and that's it. I'm in, and now I can work. I can really work. I can really live a life that counts. I can make decisions and do works that matter because Jesus has placed me by his blood into this new creation. I can, I can. I don't, it's not a pipe dream anymore. It's not just a, it's not just some kind of, some food that is pictured in a painting somewhere. No, I am in the new creation and therefore I can do works that are acceptable and pleasing to God, covered in the blood of Jesus so that every fault and flaw is covered by the power of the Holy Spirit, these works are acceptable to God. My life is new. I am in this new creation and I live, I walk by this rule, by this rule of the gospel, of faith in Jesus. Going on from here, for, and, for as, and as for all who walk by this rule, not relying on circumcision, uncircumcision, or any other works to attain salvation, none of these things, none of the working to meet requirements, none of that legalistic mentality, but people who walk by faith, Trusting in God that he is the one who causes us to want to and to do for his good pleasure. Walking in faith, walking in gratitude, producing fruits covered in the blood of Jesus, acceptable to God. Living a life of gratitude, fueled by the grace of God. As for all who walk by this rule, people of the new creation, people in Christ, peace and mercy be upon them. Not chains. Peace and mercy. This is the blessing of the new creation. The peace that this creation cannot take away. Jesus said, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives. A peace that the world cannot 
takeaway that Jesus has purchased for us. Peace and mercy be upon them and upon the Israel of God. I love that last phrase. You are the Israel of God. Do you see this? You are not missing out on anything because you're not a Jew. You are not missing out on anything because you can't work for your salvation. You can't meditate your way into heaven. You can't give your life away and find a way into heaven. No, Jesus has already laid down his life for you. And now, because of that, we lay down our lives too. And the Apostle Paul says, I live out this principle. I am among those people of Israel. For, for now on, let no one cause me trouble, for I bear in my body the marks of Jesus. Not the marks of circumcision, not the marks of work salvation, but the marks of Jesus, the gospel of Christ, the identity of Jesus. And as Paul lives out his identity with Jesus, in this world, he has to suffer. He suffers imprisonment. He suffers torture. He suffered all of these things. And these marks now have become trophies for him, markers of God's love for him. The marks of Jesus. And the, 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 the beautiful letter ends. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit, brothers. Amen and amen. Let me summarize one more time. Loved ones, those who are in the new creation, you do work, but you work by faith through love. And as you live this life of the new creation, the peace of God is yours. His mercy is always yours. His grace is always yours as birthright, not as merit, not as something you earn, but as yours by right of birth, birth in Zion, the new creation of God. So as we face this new year, my challenge to you is, to all of us is, that we would more and more live the life of the new creation in the context of this old creation, the kingdom life in a fallen world, which is exactly as it was said this Lord's Day. Faith working in love. May that be the defining characteristic of the house and of all those who walk by this rule. God will make a way Where there seems to be no way He works in ways we cannot see He will make a way for me He will be my guide Hold me closely to His side With love and strength for each new day He will make a way make a way Oh God will make a way where there seems to be no way He works in ways we cannot see He will make a way for me He will be my guide Hold me closely to His side With love and strength for each new day, He will make a way, He will make a way. By a roadway in the wilderness, He'll lead me. And rivers in the desert will I see. Heaven and earth will fade, but His word. 
will do something new today. Oh, God will make a way where there seems to be no way. He works in ways we cannot see. He will make a way for me. He will be my guide. Hold me closely to his side. With love and strength for each new day, He will make a way. He will make a way. Heavenly Father, help us to remember that You are the one that makes the way in the wilderness. The darker it gets, the more we have an opportunity to lean into You. You are the light of the world. So we lean in, into you now in the middle of this meditation and we give you all the glory for this rich salvation. Jesus, in your name we pray. Amen.